Hello everyone welcome to my channel please subscribe and stay tuned by clicking the bell icon. Coronation Street need to make Daniel Osborne the next Pat Fillin. Coronation Street has a problem and a big fat Pat Fillin shaped hole in the middle of its plots. Ever since latest serial killer Stephen Reed departed the cobbles, the soap is in need of a new villain, and we don't mean of the bully Mason type. So why not Daniel Osborne? He's shown he's got form, and now he's being questioned on suspicion of Lauren Bolton's disappearance. What if he did it? The attention soon turns to Roy Cropper over Lauren, but wouldn't it be a plotline if Daniel was there denying his guilt, but secretly hiding a killer secret? Coronation Street needs a new serial killer, and if they're looking for someone already on the cobbles to turn dark, they really need to look no further than Daniel. Letting Daniel embrace his darkness would be a chilling way to add tension to the soap. Instead of a serial killer being an interloper who arrives on the cobbles and then sets about their bad deeds, Daniel would be different. He is Ken Barlow's son. He is the apple of Ken's eye, even after he tried to kill him. Journalist, teacher, love rat. He ticks every box Ken did. Daniel's managed to hide his inner evils so far, with the odd slip up. He pushed Ken down the stairs and also pushed Max down the stairs. The darkness is definitely there. So it's time now to let him embrace it. Kill a few people. Sink to new lows. Revel in the kills like Mina did in Emmerdale. And then let it explode the first family of the cobbles. There's drama just waiting to happen there if only Cory bosses are brave enough to do it. If not Daniel, we need someone to fill that villain void. While viewers may be enjoying the low-stakes drama, issue-based stories and the comedy scenes, Cory has always been a mix and it needs some darkness. It's time to face facts. Weatherfield is in need of another serial killer. Like Pat Fillon and Richard Hillman before him, nothing revitalizes a show like a serial killer offing the Deadwood left, right, and center. We need to be yelling at our TV screens at the unsuspecting Cobbles residents who haven't joined the dots that one of their neighbors is a killer. Admittedly, Jeff Metcalf did a good job of replacing Fillon as the show's resident villain back in 2020. But since then, we've had Stephen Reed, whose unbelievable antics were more comedy than killer, if we're being honest. Not one single person comes close to Pat and Jeff, and that needs to change. Bully boy builder Pat First came on the scene in 2013 when he blackmailed Anna Windass into sleeping him to protect her son, Gary Windass, from a prison sentence after the assaulted fill-in. He returned in 2016 under the guise of being a changed man trying to get his life back on track. He shacked up with Eileen, but it soon became clear he was still dodgy when he planned to sell a load of bogus flats. It all went wrong when his business partner, Vinnie Ashford, ran off with the money. But Philin was getting darker by the day. He watched Michael Rodwell die from a heart attack. He murdered Andy Carver, Luke Britton, and Vinnie. In a final showdown with Eileen when his crimes came to light, he fell into the sea and was thought to have perished. But he came back. He held the bistro at gunpoint on Michelle and Robert's wedding day, shooting the bride, and eventually Anna Windus stabbed him to death. Anna watched as he died, telling him she had won at last. And although we saw his body zipped up and taken away in an ambulance, was he really dead? His ashes popped up in a storyline a while ago and were supposedly gotten rid of by Todd, but we don't trust that man as far as we could throw him. Fillon had enough contacts to have paid a private ambulance company to remove his body in the event of his rampage going wrong. He could have been in cahoots with the funeral parlor to pretend the ashes were his. Now wouldn't that be a storyline? Eileen's new fella, all-round good guy George Shuttleworth actually working as Fillon's secret sidekick? The possibilities for juicy storylines surrounding a Fillon comeback are endless. So Corey, it's one or the other. Make Daniel a serial killer or bring Philin back from the dead. Either will do us. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment and share.